Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about flashing the Brains firmware onto an SD card. This is for S19, S17, and various other miners. All right, so what you need is you're gonna need some SD cards here. So they have to be eight gigabytes or less. See right here, I got a bunch of four gigabyte ones. You can buy them very cheaply on eBay. So you don't want to spend $10 on SD cards. So you can spend just a couple dollars and get you know a couple hundred of them. We need to install these on a bunch of S19 and S17s at our mining facility. Um, and uh, to do that, we need these SD cards. We need an SD card add to a USB. See, I got it already plugged in there, as well as we can run multiple ones at the same time. Um, here's my SD cards here, 600 of them. So I'm gonna start flashing them. And the firmware or the image you're gonna be using is going to be the Brains OS image you get from Brains OS, which is, uh, you can find uh, Brains OS Plus, go find their firmware, there's various different versions. You can see uh, if your uh, miner is supported, here's that information right there, X17, or um, they call it X17, but what they mean is just the 17 series and 19 series from AntMiner. They also have other uh, companies that they support, not just AntMiner. The newest version is 22.02. .02. So it's the one where we're gonna be flashing. I already have it downloaded here, it's the image. So you wanna flash the image. They also have a tar file, which is if you wanna uh, upgrade in the actual uh, URL or the actual uh, the URL of the miner itself, which we're not gonna be doing, we're just gonna be flashing the image so what you do is you download this program here, it's Belina Etcher. You wanna add Brains OS image. So let me remove it, it's called flash from a file. Go to my desktop here, add that file from my desktop, select target. So now we're gonna plug in our, uh, our SD card. So I've got this reader here, just gonna plug them in here and then plug this one. Sometimes it has a issue actually reading the SD cards. Um, so you have to kind of unplug it and plug in a different slot. Might also be that I need to format some of these SD cards. There's one. All right, so we got one. This one doesn't want to read. Let me try a different one. Let's see if it shows up. So you can flash multiple cards at the same time. Right now it's only reading one. There goes the second one. All right, so now it's got both uh, scan disks on there, both USBs, reading them both. So we're gonna select the targets. Two targets are selected. You can see right here showing up a scan disks and you can see those uh, sizes there, four gigabytes. So now we're gonna flash them. So we're gonna be flashing the image, gonna create a uh, Brains OS image on those SD cards, but then we're gonna actually plug into our miners and the miners will read from it and then use uh, the configuration from that SD card to actually run the miner. So you, instead of running on uh, running Bitmain's firmware, you're gonna be running off of the SD card on Brains OS, which they run their own custom firmware. Um, so there are a couple of reasons why you wanna do that. Um, there is uh, the uh, decrease in electricity usage because it's running at more efficient voltages, more efficient uh, frequencies. So you can actually slow down the miner to achieve a really good efficiency. You can actually speed up the miner to achieve a faster, a faster hash rate and so on. You saw there that one of the SD cards had a problem. Uh, that happens very rarely, but it actually happened in the video. But I'm gonna be flashing the rest of them like this. So again, I go to select target, I add two more SD cards and keep flashing away. Now, if you actually wanted to do like thousands, this is a one-time uh, operation we're doing here, flashing these 600 miners. Um, but if you actually wanted to do like thousands or this is something that you'd be doing all the time, flashing different firmwares, especially if you're doing other you know, firmwares from different companies, 
uh, different uh, businesses out there that produce firmware, then you'd probably want to uh, buy an SD card reader copier. You can get one of those and that would just copy actual bits from one SD card to the next SD card. But this is just a flasher, an image flasher. All right, so um, after you do all that, you just unplug your little SD cards here. I have a little pile where I put my properly formatted SD cards. Right, and then I just plug them away. So it's gonna take a good amount of time because I gotta do almost 600 of these. But I kinda do it on my spare time as I am taking care of my mining facilities. You know, a lot of this uh, is maintenance work and in my spare time I flash these SD cards. Two more ready, here we go. Um, other than that, there are um, other firmwares you can run, like I said, so you don't have to stick with just with brains. There is ASIC.to, there is um, Vinish, um, and uh, other t firmwares that you can actually download and just run straight from the control board. Uh, but if you're running on S19 Pro, it's very hard to do. You, you have to just run an SD card. See this one's finishing up here. There you go, you have two successful targets. So again, that's done. I'll keep going and going and going. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe with the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or ASIC mining farm. Uh, we do the whole entire management process from start to finish. We uh, acquire the miners, we acquire the GPUs. Um, all of that is baked into um, our business model. So if you're looking for someone to manage it all for you, to purchase everything for you, to set everything up, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, get in touch, and uh, we'll be, uh, Glad to work together. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. And until next time, bye.